home builders wrapped up the year with good news. A big increase in the number of people looking for a new build. Our Catlin Gray breaks down the boost and why we still haven't reached pre-pandemic levels. Construction is happening all over Woodbury. The warmer weather giving crews a boost. We're able to dig basements without uh, the frost in the way. Uh, carpentry teams have been much happier. Adding efficiency as demand ticks up. Our year ended fairly strong. Art Pratt, the president of construction and operations for Pratt Homes, says that was helped by dropping mortgage rates and families growing or downsizing. I feel like people just uh, kind of uh, get tired of waiting. We're seeing things return to what I would like to, to call normal. You know, what, what we saw before COVID. Housing First Minnesota reports Metro builders pulled permits for 401 single family homes in December, a 51% increase from last December. The first half of 2023 was a slow um, climb. And in the back half of 2023, we made up all of that deficit. Home building has been on a roller coaster over the last five years, surging in 2020 and 2021 before dropping off in 2022. The number of single family and multifamily permits pulled last month closer to the 2019 levels, but overall the total for the entire year still lags pre-pandemic levels. What I see from 2019 to the you know 2023 pace, we need to maintain that pace but increase it pretty substantially to get at the undersupply. Housing First Minnesota CEO James Vogley telling us there's a shortage of about 60 to 90,000 units. Apartments, condos, villas, single family homes, we need everything. Pratt, optimistic. We've got a lot of pent up demand and I think if we see rates continue and the, the trend they're on, which is downward, I think um, most builders around the Twin Cities are gonna have a lot of success in the next year or two. While there was an increase in single family home permits year to year, multifamily construction saw a decrease. Nearly 60% fewer units were built last month compared to the year before. Housing First Minnesota says there are different factors that affect those larger projects and because they take longer, the data can lag. Kevin. Thank you.